Dalshir with you. Now, today what we're discussing is forms in access. Okay. Um, obviously, um, only three of you are there. I, I, I will repeat this again with a different perspective. So, <clears throat> forms basically are what? Uh, what we did was we learned how to import um, a, a flat file such as a CSV file into Access. Uh, we learned how to show the design view of it. Uh, third step, we learned how to validate. Uh, the table by applying different validation rules. But like I said, obviously, uh, once we inshallah meet back in August, uh, I'll be revising this um, again. It, it won't take much time now. So uh, after validation, we learned about how to make a query. And in queries, we learned about different criteria. And then we stopped by making a report. Am I right? Till here, anyone has a problem? Bilal, Faliha, Arij. You with me, right? Yes. Right. Now, uh, after this, uh, the less, the the the, the least, uh, I would not, I would say the least important. Uh, uh, the last part, which is left, is the form. Now, what's a form? Now, because obviously, when you make a data entry software, uh, you cannot uh, ask people to come to the table and go at the very bottom and do and do your data entry. No, that's not the way. You have to design is a form. Uh, which will be which can be customized, which will have your uh, logo at the top and buttons, so on and so so. It should be user friendly, and through that you will be entering your data. It's pretty easy to make uh, a form. All you do is you come to create, and within create you will see is forms. You can see the forms over here. Okay, I'm again asking you. You can see my screen, Bilal. You can clearly see my screen. Bilal, are you there? Or are you just like? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, right. Okay. So this is the form. And in the form, you can actually uh, click on form to make a form of this table. I said forms will be used to do data entry. So if I click on this form, you can see automatically this has been made. Now, this is not a report. This is not an either a table. It's a form. You can see as I can browse through the form. And, but I should be able to add new records to this form. I should be able to navigate with the original buttons in this form. Today, our discussion will be how to add buttons to the form. We will discuss about navigation buttons and we'll discuss about command buttons. This is our discussion for today. So what we have over here is I'll just go to the design view. Once I'm here, I'll go to the design view, right? I'll just minimize this. So. Uh, I'll obviously uh, scroll this down a bit because I need more space and I need some space here. Or I can even frankly uh, reduce this as well. So I have some space here. So let me just add some buttons over here, uh, buttons to navigate. Once I repeat again, once you're in the design view, you can simply come to the form design tools the tab at the very top and you do as you click at over here, the button. And you select a button. You will see this this command with a button wizard opening up. Yeah, maybe it does not open up in your system. The reason why this, this wizard might not open up will be if this use control wizard, if this is not activated. So you have to make sure this is activated. So I'll select a button from here. So we are making the navigation. Why it should be activated? We make the, because we have to navigate through the form. We need our own buttons for that. Okay, you'll just see. So I'll make go to the first record. I will have the first record. Then I'll make another button. I'll try to make them with the same size. Go to the last record. I'll try my best to make them with the same size. Because presentation of your work, of your work does matter a lot, especially uh, when you are selected for distinction. So I'll obviously put them in the center. Uh, I'll make sure that this is the same amount of gap is between them. So if this is fine. This is fine. Okay. Now, if I preview this, you can see is I can go to the next record. I can go to the previous record. I can go to the last record, and I can go to the first record. So I don't have to depend on the access, this one over here, and I should not. I should have my own buttons that through which I could 
browse through the records. So we have been able to make our your, your navigation buttons. I want to add the command buttons over here. Now what do I mean by command buttons? By command buttons, what I mean is, I should have a feature over here to add a new record, to save a record, to delete a record, and probably exit the application. Let's do that. The so same way, while you are in the design view, while you are in the design view, you, you will click on the button. And from here, you will now discuss is the form operation. Okay, I'm sorry, the record operation. The record, because we are, we're dealing with the records. So in the record operation, I will first of all do is add new record, okay? Because that's the first thing I need to do. I need to add a record. Once I've added a record, obviously I need to save the record. So I'll do this again. So I'll come to save record. Once I've added a record, I will save the record. Okay, uh, again, same size. Then what I'll do is, I might want to delete the record. Now see, this is again, uh, so I'll make it of the same size. Obviously I can't reduce uh, the size of the delete record. So I have to adjust the rest of them. And then I will just make one to exit. Now you don't have the exit over here. Oh, I, I could even make the undo of the examiner, I will ask us. I could even do the print record thing the examiner does ask us. Okay, for example, if I want to print the record, I can even do that. Okay, Let, let's just add that. And then I could have the exit. And then, so you see it's pretty easy. It's just a procedure. You're not doing any programming over here. And then you have is uh, an application, you have quit application. Okay, an application. Obviously you, you have to go through it and I will name it as uh, exit. So since we decided that they should be the same size, here we go, not exactly. So you can come to the form view now, and I'll just save this. I'll save this as this, right? Now let's say, let's add a new record, okay? You can add over here is uh, Intel, oh, oh, it should begin with a, uh, a Intel. Probably we did put a, a validation rule at the back. Model, it's 2022, chipset, uh, it's cheap. Right, socket, I'll just uh, 20, just, just memory, and we'll just save it. We'll save it and we'll save this. So let's see, um, we saved this in our form. Where should have it been saved? Where do you think it should have been saved? Yes, Faria, Reej, Bilal. On the table, access table. Exactly, very good. So if I open up the access table, I'll just, uh, if I have a lot of records, obviously uh, I'll just see where, maybe it has automatically adjusted it in ascending or descending order. If not, maybe it just has, oh my God, I selected wrong table. There, there are too many records. Um, yeah, I'll just do one thing. I'll just make it ascending order. Yeah, here you go. You see, it's there. So I, I entered data from the front end. We call this the front end. This is the front end form. So using the front end form, I made a form through which I can do everything. I will not give the access of the table to the user. We can even do is I can go to the properties of this or, or, or directly from here I can do it. I can say uh, backfill should be of this particular color. Okay, you can make it of any color, right? You can select these as well. And you can say um, these should be of white color. And I can also do is I can make them bold as well. I make them bold. I can even increase the size of this. Obviously, you you, you should know all this, right? Here we go. Uh, I I can I can add a company name over here. I can add a company name here. I can even do is uh, using this. Uh, uh, 
image, I could even have uh, an image over here, right? So although this color doesn't look nice, one second. Uh, let's use, no, obviously not yellow, uh, probably black, I don't know. So, so we have something like this. So we, we can go next record, we can pre record. So we made a form. You, you, can, you can even uh, carry, select in this entire thing and you can place it in the center, somewhere in the center. I want you to practice afterward. Um, at least you don't have the access software, please better try to install it again and then uh, let me know if you can't do it, okay? You need to have it. So this is how your um, access form is basically made. I think so, uh, Zaria, better just join right now. Um, I've recorded the lecture. I will share it in the group, okay, better? It, it, it was just a short lecture, not, not, not a very uh, complicated one. Uh, it, the discussion revolved around making the front end, which is known as a form. Um, how do we use a form uh, to do data entry? We don't do the data entry inside tables. We know that. Okay, so we have to make a form for that. So we have made the navigation button just today. It was simple procedure. You had to go to the design view. You simply had to come to the form design view and you have these controls. We just used was the button. And when you click and drag, drop it over here, you have the navigation. You can select one by one the navigation. And we talked about the record operation. So these are the two tabs we discussed today. And for the quit exit, I have this, okay? So, so it's not a complicated lecture. Uh, you can see over here that after saving it, if I come here and if I click on exit, see the application closes, because that, that's the way it should be working. Yes or no, all of you. Any question anyone has, and this is my form, okay? When you come uh, to A levels, we, we, we will be discussing a uh, much more detailed and advanced version of it. I, I, I don't have to discuss right now, which means how can I convert this into a software and stuff like that? So we are not discussing this in all level. There's no point, it's not in the syllabus. You just have to know till here and that's it. Any question? I don't want to like uh, uh, discuss um, any further. Obviously, we will now continue doing the past papers as much as we can. Tomorrow I will solve, inshallah, I'll solve another paper with you. I will I will try to uh, solve the entire access part with all of you. Please be there. So in the first class, I will solve the entire paper with you. In the second class, you will practice it. Anyone, any question? Is that everything you will be able to manage by, by having a look at the video? Yes, sir. Right, right. Um, okay then, all of you, I'll just share the video and please practice this, okay, all of you, right? Okay? Is Bilal there? Bilal is there. Okay, better. Office.